are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. It's game four of the World Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Cleveland Indians. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of Game 4. Well, I think this series has played out exactly how we expected it to. At two games to one, it's been tightly contested back and forth. We've got two teams worthy of being here, and I think this will go at least six games before it's all said and done. The buildup to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday. Guys, game four here in Cleveland. Yesterday, we took the first game 10-2 to here in Cleveland. And tonight, Carlos Carrasco has to have a different result. Look at those numbers. Uh, very high ERA, not a lot of innings, uh, through three games, 18 strikeouts, four walks. Looks like he's had a rough postseason, and this is a game where he has to be on point because if the Dodgers win this game, this series just might be over for the Cleveland Indians because it's going to be hard to win four game, I mean three games in a row against the Dodgers. This is a game you have to win if you're the Cleveland Indians. First pitch from Carlos Carrasco to Mookie Betts. Will be fouled off. Strike one, slider a little high. And I feel like if I would have been able to get a better swing on that, we would have had the lead. All one now to Mookie. Hitting 244 here in the postseason. The 0 1 pitch. 0 2 slider down. And Carlos Carrasco has Mookie Betts in a 0 2 hold pretty quickly in the start of this ballgame. The 0 2 pitch from Carlos Carrasco will be a ball. 1 2. Great take from the 20 20 MVP and Mookie Betts. The 1 2 pitch from Carlos Carrasco will be hit to left. That pitch was inside. This one might drop. Nope, one away. So one away, and now that'll bring in Seeger, hitting 415, five home runs, and 13 RBIs. Not looking so hot here in the World Series, but still hitting second. First pitch from Carrasco to Bell. I mean to Seeger, 1-0. 1-0 to Corey, and now the 1-0 pitch. Will be hit and this one will be caught. Maybe. Yep. Two away. Bad, bad swings to start this game off. All right, that'll bring in Turner hitting 308. Gotta be more patient at the plate. First pitch from Carlos Carrasco to Justin Turner will be ball one. Slider down. Last nine games, two home runs for Justin Turner. The home run category not looking too good here in the postseason. 1-0 to Justin Turner. Now this one hit, and Lindor will catch it. And a very quick inning for Carlos Carrasco. All right, David Price getting his second start of the postseason. Man, I bet this feels really good for him to be back here in Cleveland. Uh, and being back on the bump. It's been a while since he's been on the mound, and... You know, playing against the Reds, and you know, we'll see what he could do here in the World Series. Wilson behind home plate for him, as Wilson catched yesterday for a good old Jack Flaherty. And Dor will step in the right side of the batter's box. First pitch, strike one from David Price. Seven innings of work in his last ball game came in the NLCS against the Cincinnati Reds. The 0 1 changeup, now 0 and 2. David Price has pitched here plenty of times probably in his career. The 0-2 fastball high 1-2 and two now to Lindor. It's pretty cold out there. They're both, everyone's wearing long sleeves. And uh, David Price was blown on his hand right there to keep it warm. The 1-2 curve fouled off. Staying alive is Lindor. Oh, the two, two, the two seam fastball from uh, David Price to Lindor will be hit and Wicklin who's playing first tonight will make the play one away 
Brooklyn playing first. Uh, Muncy getting a defensive game off, but he is in the lineup playing as the DH. All right, All right that'll bring in Cesar Hernandez. Getting 262 and trying to bunt one down, and he might be able to get this one. Turner's throw on time. Two away. <clears throat> so two away here in the bottom of the first, and now that'll bring in Jose Ramirez. 12 for 53 in the postseason. First pitch from David Price, fouled off, strike one. To only have 12 hits and 53 at-bats here in the postseason is absolutely crazy. But he's got the job done for the Indians, and that's why they're here in the World Series. The 0-2 curveball from David Price will be a strikeout looking to end the bottom of the first, first strikeout of the night for David Price. I bet that feels good for Mr. Price. Knowing that the Dodgers and Dave Roberts trust in him in game four. <coughs> All right, Wilson will lead off the top of the second. Five for 15 in the postseason. Just hitting 333, one home run and four RBIs. Absolutely crushed the ball yesterday off of Emmanuel Clase. First pitch from Carlos Carrasco will hit him. Wilson not liking that. And that's a bad thing to do if you're Carlos Carrasco because now there's a speedster on first. And now that will bring in Max Muncy. Hitting fifth and hitting nine for 35 here in the postseason. 257, one home run and four RBIs for Max Muncy. Had two of them in yesterday's ball game. Good speed over there at first. First pitch from Carlos Carrasco will be strike one. Great change up. One and now the 0 1 pitch. Wilson will take off. The throw from McGuire won't be on time and still a taco. As Wilson gets another, well, the, as the Dodgers get another stolen base in the postseason. And I think that was the second one Wilson's had this, seat, this postseason. I'm not too sure. 1 1 to Muncie. The pitch 2 and 1. Great take. 2 1 to Max Muncie. 2-1 pitch from Carlos Carrasco will be hit to right and fouled. 2-2. Two and two. Carlos Carrasco's lucky that Max Muncy was early on that swing. The 2-2 will be fouled off. Cleveland fans wanting to see Carlos Carrasco get out of this inning. This man's been through a lot in his lifetime. 2-2, two, two. the pitch will be hit, and this will be a slow roller to Hernandez, one away. Wilson will advance to third on that ground out. And now that will bring in Peterson, hitting nine, nine for 18 this year in the postseason. A 500 average, four home runs for Peterson. First pitch from Carlos Carrasco will be swung on a miss, strike one. Middle, middle. <coughs> oh, one to Peterson. The 0 1 pitch from Carlos. A 1 and 1, great take. Carrasco now blowing on his hand, knowing it's cold here in Cleveland in this October. With a 1 1 pitch, strike, swung on a miss. 1 2, great pitch from Carlos Carrasco. Getting Jack Peterson to swing at that one early. 1-2, and now the 1-2 pitch will be hit to right field. This one's pretty deep. Reyes will catch it, but Wilson will tag up and score, and it's 1-0 Dodgers easily here in the top of the second on that sacrifice fly. 1-0 Dodgers, and Carlos Carrasco has given up a run, but at the end of the day, it was it's only one run so far, and if you're the Indians, you got to keep the Dodgers down. And now that will bring in Chris Taylor, hitting 571, two home runs, six RBIs. Had a home run yesterday. First pitch to CT3 from Carlos Carrasco. Outside, ball one. 1-0 one to Chris Taylor. 1-0 to CT3, the 1-0 pitch. 2-0. Chris Taylor playing second base tonight for Matt Beatty. 
just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3 0. 2 0 to Chris Taylor, and this one will be hit hard to Ramirez. Throw to first on time to end the top of the second, but the Dodgers get on the board. So they scratch across a run on no hits, no errors, and no one left on. On now to the bottom of the second. Dodgers out in front, one to nothing. All right, that'll bring in uh, Ramel Reyes to lead off the bottom of the second for the Indians. Yesterday, his defense was not too hot out in right field, and tonight, you know, he wants to get his back going for sure. Hitting 240, first pitch, outside ball one from Price. 1-0 now the cutter from David Price. And now 1-1. One one. <clears throat> Yesterday, Jack Flaherty won all nine innings against this Indians ball club. Gave up two runs. This one's hit to left, one away here in the bottom of the second. So the Dodgers bullpen is well rested for this game four. And uh, with David Price on the mound, you know, he might be able to get through this lineup twice and that's when you have to think about pulling him. Cause that's how David Price has been all year. That third time around, it's not the same David Price from the first two times. So we gotta be precautious with David Price. Oh, one and now the oh one pitch will be outside, one and one. Carlos Santana hitting 320. The curve ball to Santana, two and one, great pick. Two, one and now the two, one fastball from Price, high three and one. Three, one and Oscar Mercado's on deck. Three, one and now the cutter at way outside in ball four. So not a good uh, at bat right there from David Price. <laughs> now that will bring in Oscar Mercado. Gotta be careful to this man. First pitch fastball, hit the right foul at off strike one. If you're David Price, you cannot sweat it. You gotta pitch this game like it's any other game. The 0-1 will be hit down to Turner. Bare hand to Chris Taylor throw to first to Wicklin in a double play for the Dodgers. What a bare hand play from Justin Turner. Let's take another look. Turner to Taylor to Wicklin to end the bottom of the second. What a double play. All right, Wicklin will lead off the top of the third, hitting 500. You know what's crazy? We have one run, and we don't even have a hit. Think about that. First pitch to Wicklin, fouled off, strike one. Yesterday, Wicklin, player of the game here in Cleveland, went three for five with a home run and a couple of singles. One and now the only one pitch. Hit the left field. This ball will be caught one away. All right, one away here in the top of the third for the Indians, and now they'll bring in Bellinger, five for 39 in this postseason. Tell me, that is not the craziest numbers ever. He's had 39 at-bats and has only gotten on five times. Hitting 128, first pitch, ball one. one to Cody Bellinger, now the 1-0 pitch to the 2019 MVP, 2-0. No <sighs> hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be on a to Bellinger. The 2-0 pitch from Carrasco hit and foul fouled away. strike one. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. 2-1 to Cody Bellinger. 2-1 pitch. Three and one, Mookie oh, Betts is on deck. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's three one in this situation. Right three now, one and now the three one pitch. Will be hit to right field. This ball will not drop or it will, excuse me, first hit of the game. And it's coming off of Cody Bellinger. Cody trying to get hot now in this postseason, and this would be the perfect time here in the World Series. All right, that bring in Mookie Betts, 0 for 1, 2 for 13 in the World Series so far for Mookie Betts. First pitch from Carlos Carrasco to Betts will be fouled off strike one. Man, those sliders to Betts are really 
getting me not to get good swings at the pitches. You know, some of them are late, some of them are early, and some of them are, you know, not. A, some of them are not even on time as this one's hit to right field. This will be caught two away. Two outs here in the top of the third, and now that'll bring in Seeger 0 for 1. All right, first pitch from Carrasco to Seeger. We'll be inside. That ball will get away. Bellinger will take up 90 feet. So now Bellinger will be at second base. And that's exactly what you didn't want if you're Carlos Carrasco. Because if anything goes up into center field or right, Bellinger might be able to score. The 1 0 pitch to Seeger. 2 0. And Seeger, man. If he could get a hit here, that might could that might make him hot. And if Corey Seager could get hot, that's a very bad thing for the Indians. 2-0. Hit a dribbler. Cesar Hernandez will charge it, throw it the first to end the top of the third. Well, that's exactly what the Indians needed. All right, Domingo Santana will lead off the bottom of the third. Eight for 51 in the postseason. Um, him and Bellinger both struggling here in the 2020 postseason. First pitch from Price, strike one. <coughs> oh, one Domingo Santana, now the 01 cutter. Doesn't say curve, but it's a cutter. Hit to Chris Taylor, one away. One away here in the bottom of the third, and now that'll bring in Jordan Luplo. First pitch to the 308 average Luplo and taking ball one. Heading eighth for the Indians tonight, 0 for 4 in the last game. The 1 0 pitch, the cutter, I mean the changeup, 1 and 1. One one and now the one one two scene will be hit at and Wickland will make the play two away. Throw to Price and Price will take it to the bag two away. Well, that bring in Race McGuire hitting two thirty four. First pitch from David Price hit the, the into the gap and that will be the first hit for the Indians. And that will be a double to lead off the bottom. I mean, with two away, and Bellinger's throw will not be on time. And now that will split the script for the Indians, and that will bring in Francisco Lindor. And that's exactly what David Price doesn't want. The best hitter for the Indians coming up. All right, that will bring in from Lindor 0 for 1. First pitch from Price will be hit to right field. This ball will drop. Betts will not make the play, throw to home, will not be on time, and we have ourselves a tie ball game. Mookie Betts with a bad read out over there in right field, and Reese McGuire will score off of that hit. That was a very close play. <clears throat> McGuire just got there, we're gonna go talk to David Price on the mound. First pitch to Cesar Hernandez, strike one. And the fans getting into it here. The 0 1 curve will be fouled off 0 2. The 2 now to Cesar Hernandez. The 0 2 fastball from Price will be hit, popped up. Chris Taylor will make the play. But we have ourselves a tie ball game going into the top of the fourth. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Back with more of Game 4 on the show after this. All set for the start of the fourth. Next, the dangerous power threat, Justin Turner. Justin Turner. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Ball, Too much bite point. on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Turner is undoubtedly one of the best hitters in baseball, especially against right-handed pitching. He tends to hit for both power and average, so he's certainly a big threat in matchups like these. 
Yeah, you can tell. He is just super confident against right-handed guys. I, I, you know, sometimes it's coincidence. Sometimes it's you don't see many lefties, Matty. But bottom line is, 75% of the time there's a right-hander on the mound. And this guy is barrel consistent. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. Man, there's yeah, just man. no excuse for okay. a middle infielder to make a play like that, yeah. especially your okay. shortstop. It looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman okay. off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. but it's a cold strike two. Nope. Mowing away with that one, it's one and two. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Lead off man aboard here in the one-one ball game. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these but days. What makes it so effective? Matt. I think, Matt, what makes him such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. You think you can drive it, but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. And now they've got him picked off. And a good decision to throw as he is toast at second base. He's set. Here it comes. One, -oh. one run, just one hit. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. 2-0 to -oh -oh. the Dodgers DH. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters' counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Uh, went after the high one there, a swing and a miss. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Fastball, and he looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone for a three-ball count. 3-1 three pitch. And the slider he can't pull the trigger. It's 3-2 now. Drilled right back up the middle. Feeling it cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Dodgers go down quietly. On to the bottom of the Bro, my mic's been time. muted this whole time. What the hell? Well, uh, welcome back. I know my mic's been on half of the video. I don't, I don't think it was on for the bottom of the fourth. My bad. Yeah, first pitch to Jose Ramirez, strike one. Well, sorry about not having any commentating in the top of the fourth. Oh, one, and now the change up hits a right field. Betts will catch it one away. All right, went away, and now they'll bring in Reyes, so for one. First pitch, fastball, strike one. To not believe Carlos Carrasco blew a fastball past the tank in the top of the fourth. Uh, unfortunately, you guys weren't able to hear that reaction. The 0-2 curveball will strike him out two, two away. Second strike out of the night for David Price. Fourth one of this postseason, and now they'll bring in Carlos Santana. First pitch to Carlos Santana, the two seam fastball, strike one. Oh, one and now the 0 1 changeup from Price. Hit to left center field, and Peterson will catch it to end the bottom of the fourth. 
Good play out there and left. And Jock. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And one thing he stressed to me is the need for them to have more competitive at-bats the rest of the game. He told me he can't recall many times where they've been able to get to a full count today. And while that's not always a necessity for success, they've clearly had their struggles today, especially when it comes to making things difficult on the opposing pitch. All right, thanks. Oh, Peterson will lead off the top of the fifth. The sacrifice fly on his first at-bat. First pitch hit. Lindor will make the play third to first and one away. So one pitch, one out for Carlos Carrasco here in the top of the fifth. And now that will bring in Chris Taylor 0 for 1 with a ground out. And uh, Carlos Carrasco, man, 50 pitches so far in this ball game. 49 pitches through four. That's exactly what Cleveland needed. They needed a very good outing from Carlos Carrasco. And so far, so good. 1 0 to. Uh, Taylor, the 1 0 pitch. Fouled off 1 1. Also, we got to make Carlos Carrasco start throwing more pitches. 1 1 to CT3. The pitch, 2 and I mean 1 and 2. Wow, oh my goodness, he is painting. 1 2 now to Chris Taylor. Wickland on deck. The 1 2 pitch will be ball 2. And I thought the ump was going to ring me up. Chris Taylor holding that bat back. 2-2 two, two now to CT3. The pitch from Carrasco, 3-2, full count. Quick wind on deck. 3-2. The 3-2 pitch to CT3 will be ball four and a walk. A walk, and now that will bring in Wickland over one with a fly out. Taylor at first. First pitch to Wickland. Fouled off strike one. Hey, this is a left handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. A one to Wickland. The 0 1 pitch. One and one. Great take. Terry Frank Kona and Dave Roberts watching. Their players trying to win game four. 1-1 one, one to Wickland. The pitch will be fouled. 1-2. Like I said in the start of this video, if you're the Indians, you need this game more than the Dodgers. Because you need to take this series back to L.A. 1-2 now the 1-2 pitch. 2-2. Two and two, Great take. And if the Dodgers win tonight, and if we win tomorrow, the series is over. 2-2 two, two to Wickland, 3-2. Carlos Carrasco having a hard time finding the zone. Bellinger on deck, and if you're Carlos Carrasco, you cannot give Sean anything to hit. You got Bellinger up on deck, who has struggled this postseason. The 3-2 pitch will be popped up, and Reese McGuire will be able to make the play two away. So a full count pitch and a pop-up from Wickland, and he's going to walk back to the bench with some sadness. And now that will bring in Bellinger, singled in his last at-bat, but he's one of the worst postseason players on the Dodgers roster right now, taking ball one. Bro, Carlos Carrasco, that pitch count is starting to rise up here in the top of the fifth. 1-0, now the 1-0 pitch to Bellinger, 2-0, another great take from Bellinger. Chris Taylor, the 2-0 pitch. The 2-0, there goes Taylor, and ball three, and Taylor will be safe. So, stolen base for Chris Taylor. Mookie Betts is on deck, and it's a 3-0 count to Cody Bellinger. Y'all catch all that, 3-0. The 3-0 pitch to Cody will be ball four, and Betts will come up with runners at second and first. Now the pitching coach is going to come out and talk to Carlos Carrasco, and now they'll bring in Betts with two flyouts tonight, 0 for 2. <laughs> First pitch from uh, Carrasco to Betts. Hit up the middle. This ball will get through. No, it won't. What a play from Cesar Hernandez. Bro, I thought that ball was going to get through, but Cesar Hernandez made a great play defensively. Struggling 
to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs, but he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest Leading of the Leading up for the Indians. Thank you, Heidi. The better field. All right, first pitch to Oscar Makata. Oh, for one, first pitch, strike one. Oh, the one and now the old one curve, 0 and 2. Beautiful pitch from David Price. Oh, two two and now the 0-2 two curve from David Price will be high, 1-2. David Price, not even close to 50. Well, 10, 11 pitches away till his 50th pitch. The 1-2-2 two, two seamer will be 2-2. Two and two. But David Price, man, his pitch count is very low so far. 2-2 two, two curve. Will be hit to Seeger. Throw to first. One away. <clears throat> Both starting pitchers are really doing good tonight. Now bringing Domingo Santana over one. First pitch to Seamer will be high, ball one. 1-0 to Santana, now the 1-0 curve. 2-0. Oh, 2-0, now the 2-0 fastball from Price to Santana. Hit the Seeger two, two away. Two away here in the bottom of the fifth, and now that will bring in Jordan Luplo. All right, first pitch, strike one. <clears throat> A one and now the other one curveball, really high from Price here. And a very interesting location, but it's going to drop in for a strike. 0-2, oh, now the 0-2 oh, changeup from David Price will be hit up the middle and this ball will be a single to keep this bottom of the fifth alive for the Indians. And now that will bring in Reese McGuire, double women, doubling in his last at bat. Always doubling, it feels like in this series and taking ball one. David Price trying to get himself out of the inning. The 1-0 cutter, one and one, beautiful pitch. 1-1 one, one, and now the cutter, I mean the curve, 2-1 way, one, one, way outside. 2-1 hey, and it now the 2-1 like pitch, and that's almost going to hit Reese McGuire. And the bullpen will start warming for the Dodgers in Ross Stripling. Get the bullpen up, and get Joe Kelly and Stripling throwing, because this is not looking good for David Price. 3-1 change, 3-2. Full count runner will take off. 3-2 and the 3-2 cutter from David Price. There goes the runner. And that one will be fouled. 3-2 and now the 3-2 curve will be fouled. Alright, the 3-2 two seam fastball outside to Reese McGuire will be fouled off. 3-2, 3-2 pitch high to Reese McGuire. The curve will not come in, and that will be ball four. And now that will bring in Francisco Lindor. Can Price get himself out of this, man? And that's the main question. That's going to bring up Francisco Lindor. And both pitchers are still cold in the bullpen. First pitch, curve, I and mean cutter, strike one. Beautiful pitch. I'm going to try and paint that outside corner. Once again, the old one cutter again. Hit to left, and this baby's gone. David Price gives up a home run to Lindor, and now it's a 4-1 lead for the Indians. <clears throat> wow. What a swing from Francisco Lindor. And now we're going to bring in Ross Stripling. Oh, David Price cannot get through five. And now the first pitch to Cesar Hernandez with two away. He'll be fouled off strike one. The Dodgers trying to get out of this inning. The Indians trying to implement more runs. A three-run shot from Lindor. 
O2, and now the O2, two, two, I mean the O2 four seam will be one and two. Great take. Ball and two strikes now. One two, and now the one two curve will be hit to left. This ball will drop for a base hit. So a back-to-back -back hit for the Indians. And uh, our pitching staff ain't looking too strong here in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch to Jose Ramirez in the dirt. Cesar won't take off through the first, not on time. Joe Kelly warmed up in the bullpen. Batter minimum, though. So this is the second batter for Ross. Needs to get through three. One one knuckle curve, one and two. <clears throat> one two, and now the one two changeup from Stripling Bolt. There goes the runner, and that one will be fouled. If you're Ross Stripling, you gotta get out of this inning. The one two fastball high will be hit to right, and this baby's gone. Six to one Indians here in the bottom of the fifth. Price and Stripling have gotten taken deep in this inning. Well, that'll bring in Fremel Reyes to away. First pitch, knuckle curve will be hit up the middle, and that will bring in Joe Kelly. So another hit. Stripling cannot get an out. Alright, that'll bring in Joe Kelly, 6.35 ERA. First pitch from Joe Kelly, the fastball strike one. <clears throat> Six to one here in the bottom of the fifth. A one knuckle curve, one and one. Call's not going our way tonight, you know. Just a really rough game so far, one one. Hit deep to right. Please go foul, which it will, one two now. One two, now the one two knuckle curve will strike him out to end the bottom of the fifth. But it's six to one Indians after they score five runs in this inning. All right, Corey Seager will lead off the top of the sixth. Only one hit for the Dodgers tonight. And Carlos Carrasco has had himself a gym here tonight first pitch to Seager fouled off strike one attacking the first pitch <clears throat> oh one fouled off oh two it's gonna be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right oh two now the oh two pitch to Seager will be fouled staying alive at the dish Trying to do everything he can to reach base. The 0-2 pitch from Carlos. Will be hit to left. This ball was a pretty good swing, but one away. All right, one away, and now they'll bring in Turner 0 for 2. <clears throat> First pitch, fouled off, strike one. Okay, a one to Turner, now one and one. Very take from Justin. Man, Carlos Carrasco is having exactly what Terry Francona needed. And that was a big game as this one's hit to left, and this will be the second hit for the Dodgers. So now, the Dodgers get themselves a second hit. That has to feel good for their physique. And Emmanuel Clase and Oliver Perez once again are warming in the bullpen just like last night. First pitch, ball one to Wilson. Can Wilson get something going here for the Dodgers? 1-0 to the tank. The 1-0 pitch, 1-1. One, one. Turner got picked off second earlier. I mean, picked off at first earlier in this ball game. One one to Wilson. Two and one. Hey, this is a real pesky 
hitter right here as a pitcher. Really <clears> take one now to Wilson. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. The two one pitch from Carrasco popped up, and that will be the second out. Two away. <clears throat> so two away here on the top of the six for the Indians. And now that will bring in Max Muncy. Wilson just missed another fastball. But this time he popped it up, man. 0 for 2 is Max. First pitch inside, ball one. Thought that was a strike for a second, 1-0. Turner over there at first with two away. The 1 0 pitch from Carlos Carrasco. One and one, great fastball. Man, he is pitching a very well game tonight. <clears throat> 1 1. The 1 1 pitch. 2 and 1. One of the things every pitcher wants to do is make sure that those hitters. 2 1 now to uh, Max Muncy. 2 1 pitch will be hit in this ball. We'll knock it through. Cesar Hernandez will go to second instead of first. And he still makes the play. Absolutely unbelievable. All right, Joe Kelly will still be out there. Oscar Mercado will be the first batter he'll face and hit right to Taylor one away. So one away here in the bottom of the first, I mean bottom of the sixth. And now they'll bring in Domingo Santana who's over two. First pitch inside ball one. Oh no, now the 1 0 pitch hit to right, fouled off, strike one. 1 1, and now the 1 1 knuckle curve will be hit into the gap, and this is trouble. A double for Domingo Santana. Dodgers bullpen, quiet though. <clears throat> so a 1 out double for the Indians, and now that will bring in Jordan Luplo. First pitch, strike one. <clears throat> oh, one and now the 0 1 change there from Kelly, 0 and 2. Beautiful pitch from Joe. The 0 2 2 seam, I mean the 4 seam will be fouled off. <clears> hey, <throat> 2 and now the 0 2 knuckle curve will be fouled. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there. Two and now the 2 knuckle curve will be hit. Seeger will field it though with the first two away. <clears throat> with two away, that'll bring up Reese McGuire has scored two runs. First pitch fastball hit and Whitman will be able to make the play to end the bottom of the sixth. Nice glove work. Not getting a lot of playing time there. Okay, Jock Peterson will lead off the top of the seventh, and Carlos Carrasco still out there for his seventh inning of work. Right, first pitch to Peterson, outside ball one. <clears throat> one out to Peterson. The one out pitch, one one. One, one and now two and one. <clears throat> two one to Peterson. Yeah, we don't we don't stop fighting until the game is over. Two two though. Now to Peterson missing that one. But we don't stop the fight until it says final. So we'll see what we can do here with nine outs remaining. The two two will be hit to Cesar Hernandez one away. Man, Cesar has been pretty busy over there a second tonight. And now they'll bring in Chris Taylor over one with a walk. <clears throat> Alright, first pitch from Carrasco to CT3. Strike one. Man, this might be an off night for the bullpen for the Indians. Absolutely crazy. 
Oh, one to Chris Taylor, the 0 1 pitch. 1 and 1. We're going to go to our bullpen and start warming up. Pedro Baez. There's some bullpen action in the Indians. I heard somebody's glove pop when we were when I just put in well when I just started warming up, Pedro. The one one, two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, you'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Two one pitch. Hit the left, and this will be caught two away. Yeah, two away, and now they'll bring in Wickland over two. All right, first pitch. Hit the right, and this baby's gone. Wickland will take Carrasco deep to make it 6 2 dot. I mean, Indians. Second home run of the World Series for Wickland. Man, he is mad. Wickland's pretty upset that this offense has not been able to get rolling. And Wickland said, we're on a battle to the last out. Down by four now. Now that will bring in Bellinger. First pitch to Cody, ball one. <clears throat> one out of Cody Bellinger. A walk in his last at bat, the 102 and 0. Two and zero to Cleet. I mean to Bellinger. The two zero pitch. Two one. Two one and now the pitch. Three two and two. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked the guy up with. All right, two two. The pitch to Cody Bellinger from Carlos Carrasco will be hit to right field to keep this inning alive. It's a two-hour single for Cody Bellinger. And now they'll bring in Betts. All right, that will pull. Now Terry Francona will pull Carlos Carrasco out of this game. And now bring Emmanuel Clase as he gave up a big bomb in yesterday's ball game. Ken Mookie Betts do something here. Throw over to first and Bellinger will be back safely. And if you're the Indians, you've got to believe in Emmanuel Clase. And I think that's exactly what Terry Francona is doing. You know, after yesterday watching him give up a bomb to Wilson right away. And you know, giving up their chances to win yesterday's ball game and to go back to him here tonight in a winning situation. But you're up by four runs. That's a lot of trust in Emmanuel Clase. And he got Mookie Betts to swing at that cutter way outside on the first pitch. Oh one to Betts. It and this ball will be caught from Lindor to end the top of the seventh. And Emmanuel Clase will get out of the inning. And Carlos Carrasco gives up two runs tonight. One off of the solo shot and uh, the sacrifice fly from Peterson. Ryan and Dole will lead off the bottom of the seventh. Two for three tonight. Hit a two run, I mean, hit a three run jack in his last at bat. Oh, one and now the old one change up. And this one's gone. Seven to two Indians as Lindor hits his second home run of the night off of a change up from Joe Kelly. As I was believing in Joe Kelly to come out, and that's man, that was the first uh, Lindor hit a home run from the left and right side. As uh, Cesar Hernandez will lay down a bunt throw to first, and he's gonna be safe. Can I get a check there? Yeah, we're gonna challenge that call. I think he was out, and he'll be safe. All right, we're gonna bring in Pedro Baez. First pitch. So Ramirez, strike one. Was hoping Joe Kelly would be able to pitch through the seventh. 16 pitches, one run given up from Joe Kelly. Go to now the two change up will be a ball. Wow. Can I get a swing at that next time? Go to now the one two fastball from Baez and that will be a strikeout one away. So one away and now they'll bring in Reyes, one for three. 
First pitch, slider, strike one. Painting the zone. Oh, one, Cesar's really leading, and we're gonna try and turn two here. Taylor, to Mon I mean, to Seeger, to Wicklin for the double play. And Lindor, though, adds on to the lead once again for the Indians here in game four. All right, Dominic Leon will be the new pitcher for the Indians, 12.46 ERA. Not having a good postseason, but right here, this would be the perfect time to let him pitch. Ball one to Seager. Six more outs to work with. Let's see what we can do. 1-0 and now 1-1. One one to Seeger. The pitch hit the center. One away. Mercado will catch it. All right, one away. Well, that'll bring in Turner. One for three. First pitch hit and fouled. Strike one. Oh, one and now the pitch from Dominic Leon. 0 oh, and 2, great slider. 0 oh, 2, the pitch strikes him out. A quick at bat for Turner. And now that will bring him Wilson 0 for 2. I bet he's pretty frustrated tonight. Got hit by a pitch earlier in the game and then got uh, struck out on a fastball earlier. Uh, popped up on a fastball. That's not the Wilson way. We all know it, the 1-0. He usually takes fastballs deep like he did last night, but it was a cutter. 1-1. 2-1. The Indians have not made a lot of mistakes tonight. The mistakes they've given up are those two runs, but besides that, they have absolutely dominated. The Dodgers line up 2-1, 2-2. 2-2 to Wilson, and now the 2-2 pitch from Dominic Leone. Will be fouled away. off. I thought I was gonna slide out of the zone and I barely got the swing off. Two two the pitch. Three two. Muncie on deck. Three two. The three two pitch to Wilson will be hit and Ramirez would have played throw to first to end the inning. And uh, we're going to let Pedro Baez finish his top of the ninth. I mean, bottom of the eighth off. Um, six pitches and it's a little bit of the outing. He, I mean, the the inning he just pitched last in in the um, bottom of the seventh. Might as well let him pitch here. Saved some of the bullpen arms. We made Kelly come out. We made Stripling come out. And I don't want to use any more unless we have to. Oh, one and out the slider because tomorrow we're going to have Alex Wood probably on the mound. And with the tied series with the way it's going, I got to make sure Bellinger's ready. I mean Bellinger. Bueller's ready for game six in L.A. And and Clayton Kershaw for game seven. If, you know, say if they win tomorrow, if the Indians win, which, you know, with Alex Wood on the mound, that would not be a surprise if they don't win. I mean, if they do win tomorrow. I mean, if they... It wouldn't be a surprise if they don't win tomorrow if we put Alex Wood on the mound. I just don't know who else to put. I don't want Bueller to come out in game five because I need him in game six or game seven. 1 0. Now 1 and 1. You know, and, and maybe, I'll, maybe I have to pitch Bueller tomorrow. 1 2 now. And then, you know, believe on Kershaw in game six, maybe. And then, or Jack Flaherty. 1 2 to Leon. Popped up. Wilson will catch it. Let's go to the top of the ninth. Down by five. All right, Brad. I mean, Oliver Perez will be the new pitcher. Next month, he will lead it off. We're going to make a switch and bring in Glaber Torres. Mix it up on the Indians a little bit. Hitting 250, no home runs, two RBIs for Glaber here in the 20, po 20 postseason. First pitch hit and fouled strike one. The Indian fans that are on their feet, man, they know that they could tie this series up tonight. <clears throat> oh, one to Glaber. Oh, and two quickly though. 
no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above. Man, it's hard being the away team for sure. Especially with the other team having the lead, the O2 pitch. Will be outside one two. The fans are all up on their feet, watching the Indians need three more outs. One two, and now the one two pitch to Glaber Torres from Perez will be a strikeout high. And the Dodgers tonight are just having a very hard time watching where the ball's going. And now we're gonna bring in, we're gonna bring in Will Smith. Pull out Peterson, bring in Will Smith. Trying to bring in the righties. Smith hitting 111. First pitch from Perez will be outside ball one. Will Smith getting his first at bat here in Cleveland. As the Dodgers are down by five with one away. The 1 0 pitch, one and one. We're going to take it. Gonna take a strike. Man, I wish they would do World Series patches, you know. They, they haven't done that in any MLB game. I think it's idiotic. 1-1 one, one and now the pitch. 1-2. and two. It just looked more cool on the jerseys. 1-2 now to Will Smith. The 1-2 pitch from Oliver, Oliver Perez. Will be a ball. 2-2. Two, two. Will Smith keeping the at bat alive. <clears throat> the fans back up on their feet here in, in Cleveland. 2-2 two, two from Perez. 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Three, two when uh, Chris Taylor's on deck. 3-2 now. The 3-2 pitch from Perez to Will Smith. Will be a uh, foul ball. Let's have another pitch here. 3-2 <clears throat> to Smith. The Kentucky-born right-hander. The 3-2 will be fouled off again. Great swing right there from Will. Just trying to stay alive. 3-2. The pitch from Perez will be another foul ball. Same location, same spot from Perez for the past three pitches. And Will Smith will call time. Alright, the 3-2 pitch once again from Oliver Perez. Watch the fastball. 3-2 from Perez to Smith. Here it comes. Will be a strikeout two away. Beautiful pitch from Perez. And now that'll bring in Chris Taylor, who's over two with a walk. The Indians are an out away from tying the series back up. First pitch to Chris Taylor. Strike one. Ah, oh, man, this game's frustrating. It's been a tough game here in game four for the Dodgers. 0-1. And that's gonna hit him. That will hit Chris Taylor. That will bring in Phil Mason, and now that will bring in Wickland. That's an interesting move. You hit Chris Taylor and bring in a new pitcher already. First pitch hit, and to Hernandez and the Indians will take game four. And Hernandez, man, tonight his defensive play was absolutely great. And now it's a 2-2 series. Game five here tomorrow night in Cleveland. We will head back to L.A., which is pretty cool. And the Indians, man, they're making a fight. They're making this harder than what I thought it would be. And uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Dave Roberts and I are probably, you know, I'm thinking, ah, shit. I'm going to have to pitch Alex Wood tomorrow here in the last game here in Cleveland. Uh, player of the game for the Indians should be Francisco Lindor. Which it will be. Four RBIs, two home runs. What a night for Lindor here in Cleveland. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with probably Alex Wood on the mound, but we'll see.